Hi there. My name is Nurse Coco. It's very nice to meet you. Yes, your big day. You've probably done a lot of preparing for this day. Mm. How are you feeling? Mm. Yes, I can only imagine how anxious you must be. I hope that I can bring you some comfort. I see. So you had a surgery similar to this one on your neck area about 20 years ago. And how was that? Yeah, that does sound scary. I'm sorry to hear that. Well, this time around, we will be doing general anesthesia. So you will be asleep, you won't feel a thing, hear a thing, see a thing, and when you wake up you won't remember anything either. So hopefully that will offer you some comfort. And when you wake up, I'll be the first person you see. Okay. Hmm. Yes, I will be setting everything up, preparing for the surgery, and also giving you a bit of sedative. And then we will get you into the surgery room. By then you would be asleep. And the anesthesiologist will take over from there, as well as the surgeons and the other nurses. Okay? All right. Now I just have a few questions for you. So, have you had anything to eat or drink this morning? No? Okay, very good. You've been following the instructions that we've given you. Great. Have you taken any medications or supplements over the past week? Okay. So just Tylenol. When did you take it? Three days ago. And what was the dosage? Okay, perfect. No, that's completely fine. That will not interact with anything that we're going to do today in the surgery, okay? So that's great that you've been following the instructions that we provided you. Perfect. And it looks like you don't have any jewelry on. Great. Okay. Okay. So I'm just going to listen to your heart and lung sounds. Is it okay if I just pull down your drape? I'm just going to untie the top of your gown just to reveal um, the heart and lung sound areas. There we go. Very good. So I'm going to start off with the heart sounds. You don't have to do anything. I'm just going to go ahead and listen, okay?
so I just listen to your heart sounds and they sound good it's just that your heart rate is a little fast I've noticed um, that's probably just because of your anxiety so I'll do my best to comfort you and just relax you as much as possible going into the surgery all right let me know if you have any questions at any point. I'm here to take care of you. All right. Now I'm going to be listening to your lung sounds. So, when my stethoscope touches your skin, I want you to take a deep breath in and out, in through the nose, out through the mouth, okay? Deep breath in and out. Good. Deep breath in and out. Very good. Deep breath in and out. Very nice. Breath in and out. Okay. Keep breathing just like that. Deep breath in and out. Mm -hmm. Going. Okay. Mm. Alright. Okay. okay. Alright, so I'm just going to have you turn over to your side and I'm going to continue to listen. Okay, so just put your face this way. Alright, so now I'm going to listen to some of the lung fields on your back, okay? So again, I want you to take a deep breath in and out. Very good. Deep breath in. Just give yourself a big hug. Deep breath in and out. Very nice. Deep breath in and out. Good. And over here. Deep breath in. side. Deep breath in and out. Good. Deep breath in and out. Yes. Deep breath in and out. And another deep breath in right over here. Out. Okay, I'm gonna come over to your side here, okay? Over here on your right side. Breath in. And out. Very good. Deep breath in. And out. Okay, great. 
great, great. Yeah, very good. Okay, you can turn back around now. All right, so your lung sounds sound great. No adventitious sounds. And this will serve as a good baseline for after surgery as well. It is going to take a few weeks for you to get back to normal in terms of your lung function and the function of your body overall. And we will keep monitoring your lung sounds, okay? I will explain everything as we go. And we have a very good solid protocol in place to rehabilitate you and get you right back on your feet again. All right, great. Okay, so next I'm going to be just shaving a few areas on your chest and on your back. So they include the areas that we're going to be putting the ECG electrocardiogram leads to monitor your heart throughout the surgery, as well as the surgical site on your back. Is that okay? All right, I'm just gonna come over to your other side. So I'm going to start off just cleansing your chest region. And now I'm going to be applying some shaving cream. And this safety razor is perfectly sterile, so please don't worry. Just a little bit more shaving cream. over on this side, all right, just going to shave this portion off so that we can get the ECG on. 
and then down here. Just clean off the razor. So now if you don't mind, I'd like for you to turn around and face this side, that way I can get to the surgical site on the back. But I am going to do a little bit of measuring because I'm, you know, I'm really familiar with the way the ECG leads are supposed to go, but in terms of the surgical site, it is different for every patient. Okay. I'm just going to have you turn that way. lateral to the spine. Okay, great. So I'll just shave that area. Okay. Just 
getting the last bit off. Okay, thank you for your patience. How are you feeling? A little more relaxed. That's very good. Glad to hear that. I try to make this as soothing of an experience as possible because I know that going into surgery is not not the most pleasant experience, but. We are going to do the best that we can, okay? We we'll take really, really good care of you. You're in really good hands. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna clean it off right here. surgery. Alright, you are doing really, really well, my friend. I'm going to go ahead and put the ECG leads on you, okay? And now I'm going to connect the electrodes to the ECG leads. I'm also going to be putting a pulse oximeter onto your finger. So I'm going to do this finger over here because I want to do the IV on this arm on the left, okay? So just give me your finger. And now I'm going to place a blood pressure cuff over on your right arm, on the upper arm. So if you don't mind, I'm just going to place it right here, okay? Just gently like this. Is that okay? So that's all the monitoring lines, and now I'm going to go ahead and place a catheter in your left hand, the dorsum of your left hand. I'm going to put on a fresh pair of gloves.
gonna put some alcohol on the back of your hand. That's where we're going to be placing the catheter. You could just give me your hand. Great. And now I'm going to be applying a tourniquet um, a little higher up on your forearm. Okay. There we go. Tight. I want you to just pump your fist like this. Good. Very good. Okay. All right, great. Let me take a look. Okay, I do see a nice vein there. So I'm going to be applying the catheter. Alright. Okay. Go ahead and place that catheter on your hand. So the catheter is in. I'm just going to put pressure there and then we're going to flush it out. Okay. Good. Okay. Just going to keep putting pressure there so we don't bleed. And the line is in as well. Great. You're just fine. Here's the IV bag. I'm just gonna make sure that it's running fine. Okay. Good, okay. Perfect. But there's no air. I'm going to place it here on the IV stand. Okay. There we go. I'm going to connect it to the extending line of your catheter. Make sure it's nice and tight. Good. So that'll just be giving you some saline, it's very slowly. Okay, so the IV line is all prepared and I just got a message from the surgeon team that they are ready for you. But we're not gonna start until you're ready, so if you could let me know, how do you feel? Yes, I know. That's completely normal to feel that way. Yes. And, um, like I said, you're not going to feel a thing and the anesthesiologist will guide you step by step through the process and if you have any questions at any point, you can ask any of us and believe me, it's going to be done quicker than you think. Yes, it takes four hours, but you're going to feel like it's done in a blink of an eye and I'll be here again right in front of you, okay? So, I'm going to go ahead and let them know that you're ready. 
They're ready? Okay, great. And they're gonna put the sedative in and start the general anesthesia and then the surgery. All right. I will see you soon. Look at the blood pressure. You're awake. Welcome back. How are you feeling? A little sore. Very sore. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Any pain at all? None? Okay, good. That means the pain medication is working. Yeah, you still have the IV there. The catheter is still on, so don't move around too much. Okay. But good news, your surgery went perfectly. No complications at all. Your vitals were great the whole time. And they were able to get out those few little benign cysts. And looks like you're doing perfectly fine. Yeah, I've been monitoring you this whole time over the past... Um, two hours or so, waiting for you to wake up, and yeah, that's what I told you, it feels like no time has passed at all, huh? Great. Okay, so your family is actually in the waiting room, and uh, we've already told them the good news, so they're very happy about that, but they do want to come in and see you, and they will be able to come in very soon. I just want to make sure that you're doing okay. I wanted to be here to greet you when you woke up. And right now you are in the post-anesthesia intensive care unit. And soon enough we'll be able to put you in a regular hospital room for the next few days, okay? And we'll also be able to do some rehabilitation. Yes, so we do have two chest tubes. Two tubes coming out of your chest. One is to drain the lungs, and one is to reinflate the lungs, and that's going to be in there for a little while longer, okay? Great. The catheter will stay in, the monitor lines will stay in, just for the meantime. Alright. Feeling sleepy? Okay. Yes, that was a lot of stress for your body, so please do get as much rest as you can. And I will be right here. If you need anything at all, just let me know. Yes, I will be able to get you some water right away, just for now. Rest. I'll prepare all of that for you, okay? Yes, I know. Your throat must be really dry right now. Okay, just go ahead and close your eyes. I'll have everything prepared for you. And you're doing great. I'm really proud of you. Great. Okay, I'll see you soon.